This is Joy Perez with RichGirlNetwork.tv and we're here at the Toluca Lake Country Club for the Melanoma Celebrity Golf Classic. Melanoma is the fastest growing cancer in the world and it affects particularly young women and young men and, and young women it's the leading cause of cancer and it's deadly if it's not caught early. Most melanomas occur on the skin mm -hmm. and people think oh it's just skin cancer you cut it off and don't have to worry about it but mm -hmm. unlike most skin cancers melanoma is deadly mm -hmm. so if you see anything that's changing or anything that looks different mm -hmm. or unusual get it checked out it's always better. Odds are it's nothing but if it is something it's better to catch it early and, and usually it's not like a rash it's a single spot but you may have 20 spots on your body and they all look similar but there's one that looks a little bit different or maybe it's getting larger or maybe it's even getting smaller and that one you probably got to get checked out. I know a young woman who was diagnosed with melanoma when she was two and I know a man who was diagnosed when he was 90. Most people are diagnosed between the ages of 20 and 50. Um, skews a little bit more to the higher end, but again, in young women, it's getting very, very common. It's okay. quite frightening, actually. We've seen too many young women in their 20s die of this cancer. Most melanomas, certainly not all, but most melanomas are related to sun exposure, UV exposure. So protect okay. yourself in the sun, use sunscreen, don't go to tanning beds. I mean, these are good things just for right. beauty anyway, right? right? You want to protect your skin, you want to look pretty when you're 50 and 60 years right. old and not like a wrinkled old hag, right? <laughs> Exactly. So it's a good thing to do anyway. Yes, so right. make a positive step for your health. Well, thank you so much for sharing that information with us, and we're happy to be out here supporting. And we really appreciate it. What are you expecting here. from today's event? I think we're hoping for two things. We're raising money that'll help fund research that's okay. really needed for better cures for people who are diagnosed with melanoma, okay. and raising awareness. Just uh, the celebrities being here today will help us get the message out that everybody needs to pay attention to their bodies, protect themselves from the sun. Right. Well, thank you, Tim. I'm going to definitely take that advice good. and watch the sun, even. I'm in it now, but I have sunblock on, so there it's all go. good. Thank you Thank so you, much. Thank you, Joy. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's a beautiful morning out here, and uh, you're at the Golf Classic Tournament for um, Melanoma Research, yes, but why aren't you dressed to play? You know, I think they wanted to keep me off the golf course in case I may win. No, I can't play golf. <laughs> I just came to support. Um, I love the cause. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the day. It's a beautiful day to support a cause like that. So I wanted to come out and show my support. Mm -hmm. My wife's grandfather, oh. uh, he passed on a few, actually two years ago, almost to the day, tomorrow. Um, so this is something that definitely has meant a lot to me, mm -hmm. dealing with different cancers and, and uh, trying to get the awareness out and, and show their support, you know? Right. As people, we don't really think about it, uh, just going through our day-to-day -day lives. And then once the people that are afflicted, it's not as uh, famous of a cancer, right. you know. But I think the more awareness that we can raise, the better off that we'll be. It's not only how do you know, I, I think a big thing is to... Check, get checked out. Uh, getting checked, and, and how does it start? Where Where is it? You know, we don't know okay. what causes it. Uh, there's a lot of research that's left to be done, but I feel like we're on our way. Now, I know you're a brain in the industry and you have a lot of things going on, so what's up, what's coming, what has been done? Uh, I finished NCIS LA this year and uh, switched at birth, playing the role of Victor. Uh, Wedding Day, my film that I uh, wrote and directed, is coming out January 15th, 2013. I'm uh, prepping an action film that I'm directing called The Convicted. Ooh. It's going to be a three-part series, kind of like a G.I. Joe right. uh, type of movie. And a uh, film Wish Wizard with Morgan Freeman and Ed Bigley Jr. and the late Catherine Houston will be coming out as well that okay. I directed. Well, you're a busy man, and thank you for being here and supporting this amazing, you know, Melanoma Research Foundation and being out here for the Celebrity Golf Classic. And one day I'll see you playing, maybe. Yes, yes. Right. I'm going to take lessons yeah. starting today. Okay. Thanks, Andre. <laughs> thank you very much. We're going to talk about last We're going to talk about, no. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> We're going to talk about today. Yeah. Um, you're playing golf today. Mm -hmm. Excited to be here. It's my uh, first year with Kevin's event. Okay. Uh, I think it's a wonderful cause. I think it um, touches all of us, any type of cancer. That's I think true. It's, it's great to get out and help out. So. Do you know anybody that is suffering with this? Um, yeah, my granddad actually, a, a very close friend of mine, uh, mm. lost a piece of his nose because of the, the cancer. They had to take a piece out, it, you know, something he had mm. actually when he was a kid and had no idea and never got it checked. He always just thought it was a, you know, a, a pimple or something like that. Yeah. And um, 
you know, it's kind of sad. You know, you just you just don't know. I mean, it's a good idea to get down and get it checked. And I like living in Southern California. Right, you know, I'm right. in. We should be the ones. I mean, you know, you get a little older and you get a little nervous. I'll tell you what. I'm every six months. I'm in the dock. Like, that's check it. this out and check that out. So that's a good thing. So you you do like a checkup on yourself like every six months, every half Abs a year. Absolutely. You okay. know, I think in our twenties we don't think about that stuff. I mean, mm. gosh, when I was a kid, you'd go to the beach and throw baby oil on your body to get a tan. Yeah, <laughs> it's I know. true. I'm guilty of it. Now, now they can't. You know, it's not enough SPF. But that's uh. True. No, it's, I think it's a great idea. You, know, you really should get mm -hmm. out and get it checked, and you just never know. Great. Catch it early and make a difference. Okay. So how good is your golf game? We're going to find out. Last time oh, I played this course, it kicked, my, we're gonna it, find honestly, this course kicked my butt Did last really? time. So, But I was, uh, I'm going to lay off on the alcoholic beverages and, I like and that. see what and happens focus, and exactly. focus. Yeah, and have a lot of fun. Great. So what's coming up for you? Uh, lots of things happening? Uh, yeah, I leave uh, for Vancouver tomorrow to do a Lifetime movie okay. um, with a gal named uh, Meredith Monroe. Okay. I've done a lot of those little films. Um, and then after I'm finished with that, I go back to Steven Seagal's series called True Justice. I like that one. It's, like. it's interesting. I like Steven. It's, you know, it, yeah. he's, a, he's, a, he's an interesting guy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the bad guy to his good yeah. guy, which is funny because like he's, he's huge. <laughs> so he's like Arnold Schwarzenegger fighting Danny DeVito. Oh my but, God. you know, um, I've, I've enjoyed it. I was great. with them last season and uh, looking forward to getting back. Okay, great. Well, thank you for talking thank with us and play a good guys. game yeah, for the foundation. Bye -bye. Thanks.